see what that duck was doing in the introduction of this video, it was taking a massive shit, which is what an employee at Apple was doing at Apple Park when they thought about the AirPods Pro Max carrying case. Instead of flushing that idea down the toilet like God intended to, they decided to execute on the idea. And I can't start this review without bashing on the carrying case. I hate the way that it looks. I hate the way that it feels. I hate that the headphones are going to power saving mode unless they're inside the case. But most importantly, I hate that it looks like a little purse. I've been called an Apple fanboy several times in the comment section. And the justification for these products is always that they age very well. I've been using the pair of headphones for a week and a half now. And in my opinion, I can honestly say that they age like milk, just like any Apple product. They are distinguishable from a hundred miles away. Plus the material that was chosen by the manufacturer is really a good choice. While I thought that they were kind of heavy at the beginning, I actually liked the way that they feel on my head and they lasted for many, many hours. The mesh during my initial impression too was one that I wasn't happy with. I thought it was like a really bizarre choice, but the more that I use it, the more that I understood why they chose this particular pattern. I also see a lot of people wearing these at the gym. And while I do like the mesh, I can just see that it absorbs quite a bit of sweat. I would put these on after I showered and I could automatically tell that it would be wet. And another really awesome thing that I can't believe nobody else thought about was taking off the ear cups and replacing them. It's kind of like a tedious task. And I just find that the option to use magnets, it's just such a nice touch. But what really bugs me about the design, it feels like slightly too minimal. This is a product that I can definitely reassure you that Johnny Ives had some input in. I, I just feel like they chose once again, design over function because it, it would be so natural for there to be some sort of touch response on the cuffs, but they really don't have that. It just feels like a waste of space. Also adjusting the headphones just feels so nice and smooth to the touch that, I don't know, it's just fun to do and fiddle around with. As for the colors, you can tell that I decided to go outside my comfort zone here and pick a pair of headphones that wasn't black or white. I, I don't think uh, the pastel thing is really for me. And I would just suggest for other people to choose the silver or the black option. I mean, I could just go on and on about the build quality. They did an absolutely great job putting all this together and that's what really sells. But I think what's more important for the consumer to know is the sound quality. And while I did hear a slight bump in the music that I listened to and its audio profile, it is only slightly better than the AirPods Pro 2. And the keyword is slight in that sentence. And the best way to do this, of course, is by having Apple Music, which I did use throughout my review. And for those that are curious, there isn't a massive significant difference between Spotify and Apple Music when it comes to the listening experience. It's nothing that I would say like you need to go out and get this pair of headphones. What is fascinating though with the AirPods Pro Max and Apple Music as it is woven into the ecosystem is Apple lossless, which you can't even experience on with these pair of headphones. And if there was any company out there that I would think would figure out lossless audio over Bluetooth, it would definitely be Apple. I don't know how many video editors will use this for video editing, but in my experience, there was a lot of mention of latency, just like with any pair of headphones. Personally, I didn't experience any stutter between the headphones and the computers while I was using Premiere. And because of the overall feel, I was able to get through an entire video with these on. I can see this as a pretty good viable option for anyone that's making videos, especially if you're on an airplane or something. I mean, I think with this pair of headphones and Apple's headphone lineup, there's always gonna be discussion about the AirPods Max between the AirPods Pro. And in the noise canceling space, the AirPods Pro 2 just do a much better job at noise canceling and in transparency. The transparency on the AirPods Pro 2 just feel more targeted and specific. However, in terms of longevity, the AirPods Pro Max definitely take the cake and that's because these are over the ear headphones. And, and this is just kind of nasty and we all know about it. You will never see earwax on the AirPods Pro Max. I think that's just a massive advantage for resale value. I know, I know battery life is also a big topic, but one that I cannot give you an opinion on because I was a terrible person. And like I said, I never put the AirPods Max back in the case. What I think makes the AirPods Pro Max a bottom of the barrel experience is the fact that you can't listen to them 
via a wire unless they're charged and the wire costs like $35 and I just refuse to give Apple that much money for a single wire that I heard the quality isn't even that great and it also kind of has an outdated lightning cable which there are rumors that the next version will have USB-C which makes all our lives easier. Who can I recommend this to? I think this is a very difficult product to recommend at this point in June of 2023 but honestly I would say don't pay full price for these. These are not worth the $550. It's hard for me to say that today even, that Apple put them on. There have been so many sales on these and the secondhand market is just filled with these at a discount. I think like 300 to 330 is a really, really good price point to buy these at. But this is overall just a really weird pair of headphones that I can't recommend. Like I just, just don't buy these unless they're on sale. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Are you gonna buy this or have you owned this for quite a while? Are you an AirPods Pro Max stand? Let me know in the comment section down below. At the end of the day, I thank you so much for your time and your attention. My name is Asuki Hongos and I'll catch you in the next one.